today coming back to a festival? Well, it's great. We did uh, my first one back two weeks ago, but Henley, I was here 2012, so it's great. It's been a long time wow. coming. Yeah, it's been a long time. I've been coming here for 10 years, so really? yeah. Yes, yeah, so I, must, uh, I think, uh, yeah, it was uh, Starship, I think, yeah. me, Starship, and yeah. Oh, it's, it's an amazing festival. Are you looking forward to going on stage? I really am ready for it, yeah. I, I usually get here before the show starts and kind of soak it all up. Yeah. But to be back with live music, so you say you did a, a festival a couple yeah, of weeks ago. One, I mean, but that was the first one back for a couple of years. Like everybody else, we were, I was about to go on a world tour and it fell down three days before we, we started. So, uh, yeah, it's wonderful. I mean, and credit due to the people behind this show. I mean, you know, the weather's hit them both times. But, I mean, the crowds have come and, you know, the, everybody's killing it. It's great. All in costume as well. Absolutely. I've oh, got to be in costume. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So for lockdown for you, was it a time that you could be creative or did you put uh, that aside during well, that time? Well, it was, the first year was uh, a holiday really. I, we, I live in the country and, all, and my family all moved in and we had a great year, did a few odd jobs but just had a great year. And then the last, I think for everybody, that second time round just got a bit heavier, didn't it? And uh, we got a bit itchy. I did a lot of work online. So I did a lot of uh, kind of shows broadcasting to America and things like that. So I kind of kept my hand in. But uh, first year, no, I just kind of sat back. Yeah. It's lovely, lovely to be back. And we can't wait to obviously hear St. Elmo's Fire, uh, which that. is the yeah. song that gets everyone going in the silent disco when that comes on. Right. It must be amazing to have a song like that that has stood the test of time. Yeah, it is. I mean, when you think, I, I always think back to the movie because when the movie came out, the, the Brat Pack were the darlings of America and it used to be half a poster of them and a little bit of me. Now it's me and a little yeah. bit. So it's funny how that song is, yeah. you know, 30 odd years on. It's, it's on the radio. It's uh, part of people's lives, like you say. You know. How did that come about? That, that uh, I'd had a hit in America with a song called Naughty Naughty and um, David Foster big time record producer loved the song and asked me if I'd write with him for St. Elmo's it was one of those ever since I'd been a little boy I dreamed of working in the movies and then to get that shot A with the Brat Pack and B with one of the greatest producers in the world and we wrote the song Friday recorded it Saturday and Sunday it was in the movie Monday it was, it was so quick it was special yeah you know we were lightning in a bottle I think it was a gift from above you know definitely you just missed out on a Grammy with that, didn't you? Because yeah. it wasn't about the film. The That's song. right. It was the Oscar. It was we got a gr we got a we got a Grammy, what's the word? Grammy Grammy nomination, but the Oscar we were tipped for the Oscar, but because I told everybody that even though it was written on the movie payroll, it's entirely about a guy called Rick Hansen who was on the Man in Motion tour, wheeling around the world raising money for spinal research. So very early on, I wanted to say, look. This is really, and it, it helped. I mean, now we've raised nearly 280 million Canadian dollars for spinal research and still going. Uh, but it did cost us an Oscar yeah. shot, you know. Yeah, well, that's a shame, but it lives in everyone's hearts. Yeah, it so is in everybody's a hearts. Yeah, so moral victory, yeah. yeah. And so through your career, you've worked with so many people, from Meatloaf to Bucks Fizz, yeah, yeah, yeah. Essex, yeah. The Who. Yeah. Um, what, which of those sort of stands out as a special moment for you? I think... Uh, well, Roger Daltrey was a great one because I sang the song I wrote under a raging moon. I wrote it with a friend of mine, Julia Downs, and I sang it as a duet at Madison Square Garden with Roger. So that was great. The, the other big one was Tina. I did uh, I did 40 shows with Tina Turner in America, and that was uh, that was a blessing. I mean, I, I watched every show. I'd, I'd do my set, then wait for the lights to go down. Tina would go, and I'd just go and be a be a ponce, you know, and, and learn. She, she's incredible. She's one of the greats. She is the, one of the true handful of the greatest. Yeah. So, what are you working on at the moment? Uh, uh, about three quarters of the way through a new record. Um, so it's. Uh, I'm very excited by it. We've got Kenny Jones playing on it oh, from yeah. from the Who and from the Faces. Uh, so Kenny came up. I wrote a couple of songs, especially about Kenny's the last man alive from the Small Faces. So I wrote a song for him called Last Man Standing, which he plays on. And then I wrote a song about him and the Faces, because there's only two Faces left. If you don't count Rod, there's only there's only Woody and Kenny. And so there's a song called Sweeter the second time around, and that's with Kenny on it. 
So it's a real uh, charm, and there's a film of the making of it. So it's so it's a it's a real beautiful thing. You know, it's a heartfelt, lovely. So when are you hoping for that to be finished? Uh, well, I think, like you say, with this whole morass of it, I, I think now we'd be looking at spring. You know, to be safe. Oh, we can't wait to see it, and thanks so much. Lovely for to meet to me. you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Look forward to seeing you on stage. I'll be there. God bless.